Imagine our everyday world. We live in three dimensions, length, width, and height. We can measure these using X, Y, and Z coordinates. But what happens when we add another dimension? This is where things get truly intriguing. The fourth dimension, often denoted as W, extends beyond the familiar 3D space. It's a mathematical extension that allows us to describe objects with an additional layer of complexity. Think of it like this. A 1D line becomes a 2D square, which becomes a 3D cube. In the same way, a 3D cube transforms into a 4D cube called a tesseract. The concept of the fourth dimension dates back to the 18th century, but it wasn't until the 19th century that mathematicians like Ludwig Schlafly and Charles Howard Hinton began to explore it deeply. Hinton, for instance, popularized the idea of a four-dimensional cube by explaining it through a step-by-step -step generalization of lines, squares, and cubes. Picture two 3D cubes, one inside the other, connected by lines at their vertices. These lines represent a new direction in the unseen fourth dimension. But why stop there? Higher dimensional spaces are fundamental to modern mathematics and physics. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, for instance, is formulated in a four-dimensional space-time, combining three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension. This non-Euclidean 4D space, known as Minkowski space, is crucial for understanding the fabric of our universe. In Euclidean 4D space, we describe locations using vectors or four tuples, like x, y, z, w. When these locations link together, they form complex shapes and structures that reveal the true geometric richness of higher dimensions. A glimpse of this complexity can be seen in the Tesseract, a regular 4D object analogous to the 3D cube. So why does this matter? In recent years, researchers have turned to virtual reality to probe an intriguing question. Can humans, who naturally navigate a three-dimensional world, make sense of four-dimensional space? Surprisingly, initial studies suggest that we might be more capable than previously thought. Imagine putting on a VR headset and being immersed in a 4D environment. Researchers found that even without special training, participants could make spatial judgments about line segments in this four-dimensional space. They assessed these segments based on their length, a one-dimensional measure, and the angle between them, a two-dimensional measure. This suggests that our brains can intuitively grasp some aspects of 4D space, though the extent of this ability remains an open question. The researchers noted, the participants in our study had minimal practice in these tasks and it remains an open question whether it is possible to obtain more sustainable, definitive and richer 4D representations with increased perceptual experience in 4D virtual environments. In another fascinating study, participants navigated mazes in 2D, 3D and 4D environments. Each maze consisted of four path segments connected by orthogonal bends with no branches or loops. Using a graphical interface based on John McIntosh's free 4D maze game, participants were tasked with finding their way through the maze and then estimating the direction back to the starting point. Researchers observed that after some practice, some participants could mentally integrate their paths even in 4D space. However, a 2020 review highlighted several limitations of these studies. The small sample size, predominantly college students, raises questions about the generalizability of the findings. Additionally, there were concerns about potential artifacts, strategies that might help participants complete tasks without truly understanding 4D space. The review also noted the need to analyze intersubject variability, as 4D perception might be limited to a subset of humans or influenced by factors like attention and motivation. Furthermore, it remains unclear how best to project the fourth dimension for study. Researchers hypothesize that acquiring 4D perception could activate specific brain regions, such as the visual areas and the entorhinal cortex. If confirmed, this could serve as a strong indicator of 4D space perception acquisition. The authors also suggest using various neural network architectures to determine which can learn 4D spatial reasoning. These studies open up exciting possibilities for understanding human perception and cognition.
As virtual reality technology advances, we may discover new ways to explore and even interact with higher dimensions. Could this be the key to unlocking even deeper insights into the nature of our universe? Only time and further research will tell. In 1788, Joseph Louis Lagrange, in his seminal work Mécanique Analytique, proposed that mechanics could be viewed in a four-dimensional space, three dimensions of space and one of time. This early insight laid the groundwork for future explorations into higher dimensions. Fast forward to 1827, when August Ferdinand Mobius realized that a fourth spatial dimension could allow a three-dimensional object to be rotated onto its mirror image. This concept expanded the boundaries of geometry as it was understood at the time. The mid-19th century saw Swiss mathematician Ludwig Schlafly fully develop the concept of Euclidean space with any number of dimensions. Schlafly's groundbreaking work identified all the regular polytopes in higher dimensions, including the four-dimensional analogues of platonic solids. In 1843, William Rowan Hamilton introduced quaternions, an arithmetic of four spatial dimensions which became the foundation for vector analysis in three dimensions. This innovation was followed by the introduction of tesserines and co-quaternions, further expanding the mathematical landscape. Victor Schlegel in 1886 devised a method to visualize four-dimensional objects using Schlegel diagrams providing a tangible way to comprehend these abstract forms. Around the same time, Charles Howard Hinton popularized the fourth dimension with his essays and books, coining terms like Tesseract, Anna, and Kata. His work inspired imaginative explorations, including Martin Gardner's fantasy about a church of the fourth dimension. Bernhard Riemann's 1854 thesis introduced the idea of higher dimensional non-Euclidean spaces, fundamentally changing the understanding of geometry. In 1908, Hermann Minkowski consolidated the role of time as the fourth dimension of space-time, forming the basis for Einstein's theories of special and general relativity. However, the geometry of space-time being non-Euclidean diverged significantly from the Euclidean four-dimensional space explored by Schlafly and Hinton. This distinction became blurred in popular imagination, leading to misconceptions about the nature of the fourth dimension. As HSM Coxeter noted in 1973, little, if anything, is gained by representing the fourth Euclidean dimension as time. Minkowski's space-time geometry is fundamentally different from Euclidean four-dimensional space, and understanding this distinction is crucial for accurate scientific comprehension. The historical quest for the fourth dimension has been a journey of mathematical innovation and conceptual breakthroughs.